Stanley, three years ago, when you paid $100,000 for Cardigan Bay in Australia, a lot of people thought you were crazy. Absolutely, Jim. And tell you, if you hadn't have turned out, they'd still be telling me about it, too. And uh, sometimes, you know, it'd be easy to say I could have agreed with them, but uh, it all turned out great. Uh, he has been a great horse, and there is a possibility that he could could get to that million-dollar mark, and no one's ever done that before. No, Jim, right now, I'd say even uh, this horse has a better chance than he did when we retired him last fall from the races. Uh, after he won his last two $50,000 races last fall on December 12th, he's the last one. But right now, he's up to a race, which sometimes it's hard to get him up to. He trained in two four and four fifths here at home. This horse has had ailment after ailment. As you well know, he's had a broken spread bone. He had one of them removed, about two inches of it. And then after that, he cracked another one on the other side. And then from that, you get what we call suspensory ligaments involved. And it's no different than a baseball player when he's got an arm that's involved quite sore. He's had chips, and they've been removed, and then his ligaments get sore and tight. But this is a horse that just made a tremendous comeback, and I would say not many of them would have done what he's done. Now, there is one thing that every uh, racing fan, I guess, and certainly every average fan would ask, what is the difference between the pace and the trot? Now, uh, Cardigan Bay here can demonstrate that for us. He, it, it's unusual that he can go from the trot to the pace, right? Oh, Jim, it is. I'd say only 10% of our horses actually race in pacers would do what this horse can do. Actually, he's jogging slow Why? jogging on the trot, and you can just take your lines and shifting over on the pace, which is really great. And uh, he's an old pro, I'd like say. As we watch this, what is the difference between the trot and the pace? Well, if you watch it close, Jim, while he's trotting, you'll see his right front leg and his left hind leg going forward at the same time. Now, when he switches over to the pace, you'll see his right front leg and his right rear leg going forward at the same time. They're just the opposite. 